and Larry from Be Yourself Adventures. Well, we got another adventure here. We just stopped by the place called The Thing. We're going to go check out the museum. It's funny, I was just over at Bonita, Bean Factory Company, what have you, and we're going home and we saw this thing in the road. I said, all right, well, let's stop and see what this thing is. So, inviting you guys to join me and Let's go check it out. Be yourself. Okay, we're just getting ready to go inside uh, the thing. It's actually a convenience store, a museum, and uh, all kinds of stuff, gift shop. But if you look at this, it looks like a replica of a um, dinosaur. Okay, so this, I feel like I'm going back in the 1800s, but this is crazy. This must be one of the things they're talking about, I'm guessing. They got an old lantern from the 1800s. Looks like an old cave, and so this is becoming very mysterious, and I'm really excited to go see what's inside. All right, so we're in a gift shop. We're going to check out right now. You got little plush little aliens you can take home and snuggle with you, and all that fun stuff. And then look at this. We got some shirts. Uh, this is cool. Mystery of the desert. Yeah, right there. I mean, they got hats. All kinds of gifts in here. Um, cowboy hats, um, even got this. Everybody should take one of these home, right? Ready? Okay, we're getting ready to go check out this museum. I'm just really kind of shocked because I always wanted to know what the thing was. And um, this will give you a little description right here about the thing. I'll have it up here for a little bit so you guys can you know, maybe pause the video, check it out, and find out what if. And um, this is pretty interesting. I can't wait to check out this museum. So if you guys like the video, go ahead and subscribe, and there's going to be a lot more coming the way. All right, let's go see if the truth is out there. Let's go. All right, this looks like something out of a movie. It's of uh, aliens versus cowboys or cowboys versus aliens. Aliens versus dinosaurs. And uh, the whole saying, did the aliens drop a rock from the sky and make the dinosaurs extinct? Makes you want to think. But look how cool this is. All right, let's go continue on the museum. What if what you are about to see is true? I don't know what kind of dinosaur that is, but that's a little frightening. I know what that is. That's a tricerat Triceratops right there. We got the Jurassic period. Dinosaurs rule, yeah. Always. But here's my friend, Triceratops. And his other little friend does not look like a happy camper. Not at all. Don't look too happy. Let's go check out the aliens real quick. I mean, there's just all kinds of information about these aliens. Schematic C4 MD Collective Mind. So basically, the aliens are controlling the dinosaurs' minds through the implant of some type of little robotic device. All right, looks like they're ready to take us to their leader. So if you guys are ever on your way through Arizona, and you're on your way to New Mexico or what have you, stop on and check out the thing. So far it's been really cool. Look at it, there's looks like a battle going on between the aliens and dinosaurs. I don't know. I would give my best judgment that the Prontosaurus Rex 
will be the one to win. But look, they're riding raptors. And uh, it's going to be a tough call on who's going to win that battle. Yeah, this is pretty sad. Look at the aftermath. aftermath. They wiped out the aliens and the dinosaurs. All right, so you guys come and check out this place. It's really cool. I mean, it's $5 per person or if you have a family, it's $10. In the Persian Empire. All right, so we got this. Looks like we're around the Roman Empire time. Macedonia. Yeah, that's right, the Roman Empire. The rise and fall of kingdoms. British Empire. Last but not least, the United States of America. Then you got the U.S. and the Wild West. This is my favorite part of history, right here. Okay, so we got another area of this museum. It looks like we got some farm equipment. Good old buckboard wagon, wow. Now, it says, what if this wagon was used to transport the thing? Hey, you never know. Well, 1856, horse-drawn single-seat buggy. This one says, what if this buggy was used by generals and officers during the Civil War. Now look at this back in the day where they had oxen pulling wagons. A lot of times people think about horses and stuff like that, but a lot of times they use oxen to pull wagons. And this covered wagon right here 1849 RV cover wagon like this were used to conquer the Western United States. What if you had to take this across country on your next road trip? Yeah, I think we'll try that out for our next adventure on Be Yourself. Eighteen fifties horse drawn double seat buggy. This buggy would have been considered high class back in the Old West. What if this was used by the mayor of Tombstone, Arizona? Hey, you never know. Looks like the thing is right, waiting for a ride. Now let's see how many people can guess what that is on the wall. Kind of zoom in a little bit. It's your 1800s version of a telephone. And the world gets smaller. I'll go ahead and have you guys read that about Henry Ford, about the revolutionized of the motor vehicle. Here we got generations of war. We got World War I, July 28th, 1914 to November 11th, 1918. Kind of gives you an idea where the war took place, who was involved, the signs about people getting to join the Navy.
How would you like to have a vehicle like this nowadays? And here's some real interesting and awesome pictures, but not during an awesome time, Great Depression. I mean, this was in 1936. And his photo is U.S. Library of Congress. All the people waiting in line for food. People outside just su surviving, getting the, the essential needs that they need to cook. Hey, why not? They probably grabbed some beans back then. I mean, no pun intended, but I'm being serious. And how bad the drought at that time during the Dust Bowl around the 1930s. And um, they had people traveling from back east going through Oklahoma during the Dust Bowl period. So if you could look, the Great Depression was from October 29th, 1929 to 1939. Can you imagine 10 years of all this it's just mind-boggling what people went through. And then you got World War II, which uh, the light is kind of blurring out the word, but it said September 1st, 1939, September 2nd to 1945. You had the attack on Pearl Harbor. Then you got Churchill and his famous speech. And you got D-Day. And there's some more getting people to join, to enlist. How cool is that? A tribute to our veterans. Wow. A map of the world. And there's Eisenhower. Now, is this cool or what? This car is amazing. Let's go check out. Oh, look. We got a little alien taking control of the vehicle. And he has a passenger back there. So this vehicle here, I guess in the back seat, supposed to be uh, Winston Churchill. It says, what if this 1937 Rolls Royce was really used by Winston Churchill? You never know. Stranger things have happened. So here's the 1932 Buick. And we got some more interesting, you know, like Easter Island and talk about Sasquatch or Bigfoot, the Pyramid, the Sphinx of Giza, Nessie, Loch Ness. I mean, there's so many mysteries out there, believe it or not. I mean, you got the Bermuda Triangle. which has been a mystery, a very big time mystery for years. This isn't very, very serious. I, I just, I have to show you guys this one. What if Elvis was actually abducted by aliens? There we go. The case of Elvis being alive or missing, or what have you. Here to do it for Be Yourself Adventures. Uh, got Elvis here.
I guess he was taken by aliens. If you guys like this video, there's going to be plenty more. All right. Always be yourself. Peace. Yeah.